Pope Fabian, Latin, Fabianus, c. 200 the 20th of January 250 was the bishop of Rome from the 10th of January 236 to his death in 250, succeeding Antares. He is famous for the miraculous nature of his election, in which a dove is said to have descended on his head to mark him as the Holy Spirit's unexpected choice to become the next pope. He was succeeded by Cornelius. Most of his papacy was characterized by amicable relations with the imperial government, and Fabian could thus bring back to Rome the bodies of Pope Pontian and the antipope Hippolytus, both of whom had died in exile in the Sardinian mines, for Christian burial. It was also probably during his reign that the schism between the two corresponding Roman congregations of these leaders was ended. He was highly esteemed by Cyprian, Novatian refers to his Noblissima Memoriae, and he corresponded with Origen. One authority refers to him as Flavian, the Liber Pontificalis, a 4th-century document that survives in later copies, says that he divided Rome into diaconates and appointed secretaries to collect the records of the martyrs. He is also said, probably without basis, to have baptized the Emperor Philip the Arab and his son. More plausible is the report in the Liberian catalogue that he sent out seven apostles to the Gauls as missionaries. He died a martyr at the beginning of the Decian persecution and is venerated as a saint by the Catholic Church. Fabian's feast day is commemorated on January 20, the same as Saint Sebastian, in whose church his sepulchre lies in Rome. Early life and accession According to the Liber Pontificalis, Fabian was a noble Roman by birth, and his father's name was Fabius. Nothing more is known about his background. The legend concerning the circumstances of his election is preserved by the 4th century writer Eusebius of Caesarea, Church History, v. 29. After the short reign of Pope Antares, Fabian had come to Rome from the countryside when the new papal election began. Although present, says Eusebius, Fabian was in the mind of none. While the names of several illustrious and noble churchmen were being considered over the course of thirteen days, a dove suddenly descended upon the head of Fabian. To the assembled electors, this strange sight recalled the gospel scene of the descent of the Holy Spirit on Jesus at the time of his baptism by John the Baptist. The congregation took this as a sign that he was marked out for this dignity, and Fabian was at once proclaimed bishop by acclamation. Papacy. During Fabian's reign of fourteen years, there was a lull in the storm of persecution which had resulted in the exile of both Antares' predecessor Pontian and the antipope and later Saint Hippolytus. Fabian had enough influence at court to effect the return of the bodies of both of these martyrs from Sardinia, where they had died at hard labor in the mines. The report that he baptized the Emperor Philip the Arab and his son, however, is probably a legend, although he did seem to enjoy some connections at court, since the bodies of Pontian and Hippolytus could not have been exhumed without the Emperor's approval. According to the 6th century historian Gregory of Tours, Fabian sent out the Apostles to the Gauls to Christianize Gaul in AD 245. Fabian sent seven bishops from Rome to Gaul to preach the gospel, Gatianus of Tours to Tours, Trophimus of Arles to Arles, Paul of Narbonne to Narbonne, Saturnin to Toulouse, Denis to Paris, Ostromoine to Clermont, and Saint Martial to Limoges. He also condemned Privatus, the originator of a new heresy in Africa. The Liber Pontificalis says that Fabian divided the Christian communities of Rome into seven districts, each supervised by a deacon. Eusebius v. Section 43 adds that he appointed seven subdeacons to help collect the acta of the martyrs—the reports of the court proceedings on the occasion of their trials. There is also a tradition that he instituted the four minor clerical orders, porter, lector, exorcist, and acolyte. However most scholars believe these offices evolved gradually and were formally instituted at a later date, his deeds are thus described in the Liber Pontificalis. Hic regiones dividet diaconibus et facet v subdiacones, qui v notaries immanerent, ut gestas martyrum integro fideliter collegerent, et multis fabricas per cimeteria fieri prespit. He divided the regiones into deaconships and made seven sub deaconships which seven secretaries oversaw, so that they brought together the deeds of the martyrs faithfully made whole, and he brought forth many works in the cemeteries. 
The Liberian Catalogue of the Popes also reports that Fabian initiated considerable work on the catacombs, where honored Christians were buried, and where he also caused the body of Pope Pontian to be entombed at the catacomb of St. Calixtus. With the advent of Emperor Decius, the Roman government's tolerant policy toward Christianity temporarily ended. Decius ordered leading Christians to demonstrate their loyalty to Rome by offering incense to the cult images of deities which represented the Roman state. This was unacceptable to many Christians, who, while no longer holding most of the laws of the Old Testament to apply to them, took the commandment against idolatry with deadly seriousness. Fabian was thus one of the earliest victims of Decius, dying as a martyr on 20 January 250, at the beginning of the Decian persecution, probably in prison rather than by execution. Fabian was buried in the catacomb of Calixtus in Rome. The Greek inscription on his tomb has survived, and bears the words Fabian, bishop, martyr. His remains were later reinterred at San Sebastiano Fiori Lemura by Pope Clement XI, where the Albani Chapel is dedicated in his honor. See also Topic Hippolytus of Rome List of Catholic saints List of Christian martyrs List of popes Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic. Catholic Encyclopedia, Pope Street. Fabian Colonnade statue in St. Peter's Square.